what these units do is they um, heat or cool water. I haven't personally slept with this unit. That sounds kind of creepy, doesn't it? Slip with it. From a physical size, I mean, this is, it's called the cube. It's shaped like a cube. Hello, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com. Today I've got another head-to-head -head comparison. This is two products from the same company. All right, so on my right, I have the first generation, well, no, not necessarily the first generation, the uh, updated Chili Pad from Chili Technology. And on my left, I have the new, within the last six, 12 months or so, or nine months, uh, the Ula. Uh, and so this is the second generation product from the original chili pad, but the chili pad has been upgraded a few times, so that's why it's not necessarily the first generation product. And what it does, what these units do, is they um, heat or cool water, and then they pump this water through what looks like a, a mattress topper, um, and that goes on your bed, and heats you up or cools you down, depending on the uh, environment you're in. So I found these products, or the original chili pad, a few years ago when I was living in Australia and it is very hot there, uh, you get high humidity rates in summertime and I, I run hot, I'm always quite hot, you know, I'll be sweating even now. It's, by the way, you can I'll, I'll put my article on how to boost deep sleep and the aura ring, all these things I mentioned, I'll put notes below. So I've now used both, I've been using this one for a couple of weeks now here, here at summertime in New Zealand. I will be releasing an in-depth review on the Ula, I won't be doing an in-depth review on the chili pad, but I am doing this head-to-head comparison piece. I have also done EMF readings on both these products. Um, so there's videos on my YouTube channel. So have a play around on my channel and you should find them if you are passionate about EMF. I will touch on that soon. But anyway, today what we're going to do is we're going to compare these products and help you figure out which, which product you should buy if you are looking at buying one of these. So the first thing, the most obvious thing is price. Now being the, the new unit, this is the more expensive price. The chili pad, I've got two prices here, all right? But what I've done, I've got discount codes that I can share with you guys. For the Ula, it is Fergus15, F-E-R-G-U-S-1-5. That will save you 15% off the Ula. For the chili pad, it is Fergus25, F-E-R-G-U-S-25. Chili pad for the Half Queen Me. The Me is what I've got here, um, you know, two feet wide. Uh, it's just for you, right? Hence the word Me. Um, that is, after using discount code, $375 US, okay? Uh, the Ula with the Half Queen Me, which comes with this mattress topper or pad, um, $595. All right, so big price difference there. You're talking, what, $225 price difference. So straight away, people were looking at the chili pad thinking, well, that's, that's a big uh, big price saving, big benefit. But we're gonna go into the other reasons why um, other reasons why the Ula may be a better choice for you soon. Um, if you want to get the Wii option, so that's two units and two pads or one big pad um, with two hoses. Uh, for the Chili Pad Wii Queen, uh, $750 after using the coupon code. And for the Ula Wii Queen, $1,200. So, yeah, $500 difference there. It's huge. I mean, it's a big, big difference. The Chili Pad doesn't have any microwave like uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. All it does, but you only turn it on to sync to your app, which I'll get to soon. So you don't really need to worry about that because it turns off anyway, right? So the main thing you should be worried about is electric field. And on that note, electric field at a few inches out was zero with both these panels, so not an issue. So the only thing you need to worry about now is the magnetic field. And I use my Cornet electro smog meter here which is only a couple hundred dollars, but it's pretty accurate. I've compared it to some like professional devices and it, it holds up really well. I'll put a link to that below as well. Um, and yeah, it's just magnetic field. Now, the chili pad comes on top, it comes out on top here, but only just. Uh, pretty much at three feet, you're, uh, you're in the green based on the building biology safe levels. At four feet, you're in the green. So four feet distance. Now that means you can put this on the floor and you know, like off, beside your uh, bedside table and um, you're not going to be impacted by the output. Now these pads come with quite long hoses. The Ula hose is 2.1 meters long or it's about 8 feet or so. The chili pad 
uh, hose is slightly longer at 2.5 meters or 2.4 meters. So if you are super paranoid about EMF, you know, the chili pad is the better option because it has a slightly, very slightly lower output, plus it has the longer hose, so you can put it further away. The Ola has three fan options here, and they market this as like a white noise feature. You know, you can bump the fan up and you get more of a white noise. I personally hate white noise, I can't stand it. And the first night I had this, I had it on boost mode, which is the loudest, and um, I had sport earplugs and it drove me nuts. And I figured out you can drop it down to silent mode. Silent mode on the Ola is the same sound level as the chili, chili pad here, okay? Chili pad only has one sound level, one fan level, so pretty much um, both the same there. Uh, this is probably a nicer sound. This is not as smooth, the sound, all right? Uh, both of them have the same temperature range. They go down to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 13 degrees Celsius, right up to 46. Uh, right up to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 46 degrees Celsius. Um, which is pretty cold. Now, I remember the old one of these I had didn't get that cold. You know, that's why I ended up having two of them. The new one, um, yeah, very different. And I mean, this I had on the lowest setting one night in summertime, and I woke up a few hours later and I was freezing, like with two blankets on me. I was like, this is insane. So I had to bump it up. You can see the difference. Uh, this one's actually insulated. This one's just the, the hose on its own. Uh, and the pad is different as well. So it's got new fibers in it. It's got a water resistant base. Um, I think the spacing and the internal tubes are exactly the same though. So that may make this slightly more efficient at keeping it cooler. Uh, and I'm sure that being a newer product, I'm sure this does have a better cooling function. It's got a better, bigger water reservoir as well. So, um, you know, there's more water to pump around. So if, if it's really hot, you know, that heated water has to go, go back to the um, unit to cool down. Um, the chili pad has a power consumption of 170 watts, they're all 140 watts. So if you are worried about like energy consumption, you know, cause you're using it every night, eight hours a night type thing, then this is gonna come out on top. But 30 watt difference, it's not a huge difference. Um, you know, like, I guess if you're off grid or something like that, then sure, you know, every little, uh, every wattage counts, but most people aren't gonna be worried about that. The chili pad here is four and a half kilos. I'm not gonna convert that to pounds. Uh, the Ula is 4.3, so this is slightly lighter. Um, but not a big difference. The big difference though on the size front is the highest. This has a lower profile. It's only 15 centimeters high. This is much taller, okay, 19 centimeters high. Now they did this and they're marketing this because it can fit under a lot more bed frames. From a physical size, I mean this is, it's called the cube. It's shaped like a cube. This is rounder, rectangular looking unit. You could travel with this. In fact, I know someone that did or does travel with their unit. I mean, four and a half kilos plus the mattress topper, probably two or three kilos. You can very easily put this in a suitcase. And um, now the chili pad has three buttons. Power button, hot, cold, all right? When you turn it on, the temperature comes on. Sorry, when you turn it on, the temperature comes on, you can select the temperature you want. Colder, hotter, simple, all right? Very, very simple. You set the temperature you want and then it'll hold that temperature all night. It also comes with a remote, which is just an infrared remote with exactly the same thing. Three buttons, hotter, colder, power. And then the, the screen up there will show the temperature, just like the screen on there. Super simple to use. The Ola is a little bit more complex, fancy. If you look at it on the top, you might not be able to see. It's got the same three buttons, power, plus and minus in the screen. But the Ola doesn't have a remote. Instead, it's got an iPhone app. So in here is Bluetooth. By holding down the power button for five seconds, you enable the Bluetooth function on here. You can then sync this to your phone. So, like the chili pad, if you just want to set the same temperature all season, you turn it on, you set the temperature, away you go, it does its thing. So turn it off in the morning, boom, no worries. You can actually schedule the temperature throughout the night down to the hour. So why would you want to do this? Let's say, let's say you uh, you do a you finish work at seven o'clock, you um, and then you do you train in the ex, uh, in the evening. You go to the gym in the evening, or maybe have a sauna, right? But you know a hot core temperature body is going to impact deep sleep, and it's middle of summer, and you don't have aircon, and you want a great night's sleep, right? You might have that. Um, 
you might have to all it down as low as possible. You know, what did I say? 13 degrees, which is cold. I mean, you can't sleep at that temperature all night, trust me, I'm trying. Um, you might have it down there at the start of the night, right? And then two, three hours later, you might have it come up to say 16 degrees, which is 16, 17 degrees is my sweet spot for the night, right? And then you might know that, I don't know, maybe you live in the desert or something and you know, come 3 a.m. in the morning, the place gets cold. And it might have been 40 degrees during the day, like really hot, but then come 3 a.m. in the morning, it's freezing outside. Uh, and so you know, once the time comes, you know, you don't need that unit on. Well, something like this, you're stuck the same temperature all night. Here, you can program it so then come 2, 3 a.m., that temperature might go up to like 18 degrees or 19 degrees or 24 degrees. It might warm you up, you know, you may go up to 40 degrees or something crazy. So the pads, they call them the hydro hydronic pads. Uh, so the original chili pad, yeah, um, it is a cotton poly blend. Um, nothing fancy, you know, just, I don't really know much about material, but it's nothing amazing. Uh, it's got these elastic straps, pretty, thin straps, they go around your mattress. Uh, and then, like I said, the the hose, the long hose, isn't insulated or anything, but um, hey, it does, it does the job. You can wash that as well, which is great. The new one with the Ula has thicker straps, um, wider straps as well. Better quality straps, I guess, that's what I'm saying. And the, 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 uh, the pad feels very different. It's very soft, this is, you know, it's like new cotton sheets. This is very, very soft. I haven't washed this. Uh, and the bottom has a water resistant um, fiber surface. This one, the chili pad, I don't have the power plugs for them, but it's got a blue LED light, you know, the blue dials. And um, blue light is not great for sleep. In, fa in fact, it suppresses melatonin. I've written about this in my articles over at alexfigures.com. So, I mean, if you turn this on before you go to bed, uh, not an issue, but then if you come in and you adjust the dials, that blue light is, is impacting sleep. Um, this unit here doesn't use blue light. I think it's like a wider light, which still technically has blue light in it, but it's not as intense as this, like huge dif difference. Trust me, like I'm big on the blue light, okay? Like uh, I've researched this, I have like 12 different pairs of glasses. So this is a big thing for me. So um, yeah, big difference there. Uh, also, it's got like a dim mode, so it will drop down a lot quicker as well. However, you can do it all through your phone, you know, wearing your glasses and sync it all up as well. So, um, you know, something to think about if you're in the market and you are about to spend you know, a thousand bucks on one of these, it's, it's little things like that you should know about, right? I haven't personally slept with this unit. That sounds kind of creepy, doesn't it? Slip with it. No, no, um, I haven't used this on my bed because I've been testing this one out and this just turned up, um, but I have used the older one. Uh, I mean, it should work, you know, spec-wise, it's very similar from a cooling point of view. Uh, so, why would you go Ula and why would you go Chili Pad? Which one should you choose? I, I've made a few, after going through all my notes, I, I made a few uh, recommendations. Ula, why would you go Ula over Chili Pad? If you've got a low bed and you want to put it under the bed and that 15 versus 19 centimeter different height difference is, is a game changer, then simple. You go with the Ula, right? Um, if you want the custom temperature scheduling, I mean, to be honest, that is the main benefit, the biggest benefit by far. The fact that you can go in and program your temperature fluctuations over the night, like it's pretty cool, to be honest. The warm wake mode, again, that's another nice plus, but hey, I wouldn't spend $500 just for that feature, but it, it should impact your decision. Uh, if you like the latest things and the latest technology, and I know a lot of people do, um, you know, you want the latest and greatest, then go to the Ula. I mean, it's got so many more bells and whistles, doesn't it? Plus it looks, you know, sleek and modern. This looks, looks a bit clunky and old, I guess, because it is. Why would you go with the chili pad? Simple, you're on a tight budget. You know, if you can't quite afford the Ula, uh, you want the benefits of a colder bed or a warmer bed, um, and you want one of these devices, but you can't afford the expensive one. I mean, then you get a chili pad. You're still getting all the great features. You just don't get all the bells and whistles. Uh, you're, if you're super paranoid about EMF, then yes, this one is slightly lower. They're both, both safe at three, four feet though. This one is slightly lower and it has the longer cord or hose. So you can put it further away from the head, for instance. Um, you know, maybe someone that they're very caught up on that and um, in which case the chili pad is, is the better option. But you can use this without the iPhone app, all right? It's got the same functions, power on off. Um, 
increase, decrease temperature. I mean, you don't need the app for it. Uh, obviously, you're not getting all those cool benefits with scheduling and whatnot, but um, you can uh, actually scheduling. That's one thing I remember. I uh, didn't think about. I think you can schedule it so it will turn on automatically with the app. I haven't tested that, but I'm pretty sure it does that. So that's that's also another big plus because you can schedule it so it comes on automatically, turns off automatically. You get to work, come home, and it's already doing its thing. It's another big plus. Um, and then the final reason why you might get a chili pad is you want the longer hose for your bed or bedroom or setup. You know, maybe you're gonna put it, I don't know, in a certain uh, in your cupboard or something, and that hose length needs to be over two meters. In which case, that extra 30, 40 centimeters on the chili pad, you know, could be a game changer. Otherwise, um, yeah, I hope this video has helped you make more of an informed decision, and um, you get the product that is best for your needs. Remember uh, to use those discount codes, Fergus15 for the Ola, 15% off, and Fergus25 for the Chili Fat. You can try using them the other way around, but they won't work. Uh, I am affiliated with them. If you use those codes, I do get a little kickback. That allows me to go out and purchase things like this and do the testing and reviews and help you. I only really, um, or I only become affiliated with products that I use and recommend and um, you know would want my friends, my family to use. Be sure to check out my other videos and uh, if you want to see the EMF readings on these videos, check out, I will try to put links below to them. Uh, give me a thumbs up and head over to alexfergus.com, check out my blog, there's some cool stuff going on over there. And if you do buy one of these or you have been using one of these, let me know any thoughts. Maybe I've missed something. Maybe there's something else like the readers should, should know about. All right, signing out. Bye.